Hi everybody, this is Crystal from Homemaking on the Homestead, and today we're going to make chicken stock in the crock pot. Or is it chicken broth? I don't know. I see the words used interchangeably all the time, uh, and definitions given for one word, and then I see someplace else where the same type of definition is given for the other words. So I just use them interchangeably. I don't think it really matters. In the end, what you're looking for is that marvelous cup bowl of nutritious, delicious broth and it, it's, it's, it is an amazing food. I have been um, making it for a while now, rec more recently in the, in the crock pot. I used to make it in a stock pot all the time. But now I've been making it in the crock pot because it's so simple that way. You don't have to worry about the fact that you're leaving a burner on overnight or maybe you're gone during the day and so you don't have to be concerned about fire hazards or dangers or anything like that. It's really a nice way to be able to do it. And in the end, the broth that you get is much more condensed and so you don't often need as much. You can use it for cooking, baking, um, drink it right out of the cup. That's what I like to do. And so, uh, let's see, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that about partway through the video, um, after my broth is cooked for about 12 hours, I remove the whole chicken, the bones, everything, and I take the meat off the bones, cut it up, put it into freezer bags, and stick it in the freezer. And I do this because I like my broth to cook for at least two to three days. And if I let the chicken cook that long, it ends up being a dried, dried out, tasteless, chewy, and it's really not good, that good to use for much else. So if I take it out after 12 hours, then I've discovered that it's much easier for me to be able to use it later on. So let's get busy with this.
Thanks for watching my little video tutorial. I hope it inspires you to make some broth for your own family. If you'd like to learn more about why broth is such an amazing food, then I highly recommend the book Nourishing Broth by Sally Fallon. She's the same lady that wrote Nourishing Traditions, and this book is full of great information on why broth helps our body, what it does for us, and why it needs to be a staple in everybody's household. Thanks for watching my video today, and don't forget you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and have a great day.